Okay, you've ordered Oracle Mobile Cloud Service and you want to start developing mobile applications in the cloud with MCS. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get started provisioning your instance of Oracle MCS. Thanks for joining me, Grant Ronald from the Oracle Mobile Platform team. So having made the decision to purchase a subscription to Oracle MCS, it will be in your hands or typically some senior person in your organization to initiate or provision your instance of MCS. Basically, press the big red start button. So what happens and who does what? Now, broadly speaking, there are four main steps or actors involved in doing this. And depending on your company, you might find one person who's responsible for more than one step of the process. So firstly, there's the one person who kicks off the whole process by getting an email from Oracle to say their company has subscribed to some Oracle services. We'll call this person the cloud account administrator since they would typically look after all your Oracle Cloud accounts. They would then be responsible for creating a new account for all your cloud services or adding new services and generally managing your cloud domain. The second role, which might in fact be the same person, is responsible for managing the specific Oracle MCS instances. So that person is more likely to be focused on MCS specifically and would typically activate an MCS instance or even delete an MCS instance. The third role is the Oracle MCS Identity Domain Administrator. This personal role would, as the name suggests, administer the various persons or identities who would actually be building things in MCS. So that person would be creating our fourth actor, the Oracle MCS team member. Okay, so let's go to a demo and show first of all what happens when our first actor, our Cloud Account Administrator, gets their activation email. So, as the nominated person in your company, who we're calling the Cloud Account Administrator, you'll receive an email about your order. Now, in this email, you'll see a button to set up an account for your cloud services. Click on it, and you'll be taken to a page to log on. And here you'll use your Oracle SSO username and password to log on. And the first thing you do is create an account for your cloud services. Select Create New Account and specify a new account service name. Now it's important to choose something meaningful here because the account name will be used in places such as the URL of your cloud services or login screens, as you can see in the preview URL. You will also see that the dashboard has pre-populated a user who will be the service administrator for your service. In this case, Jeff will also be the service administrator for the Oracle MCS service. Okay, so having created your Oracle Cloud account and indicated that Jeff, in this case, will be the administrator for the Oracle MCS service, after a short while, Jeff will receive an email giving him access details through a temporary password. So here's the email Jeff received. The email contains a few important things, along with some details about the order. Username, temporary password, a URL to log into the administrator account, and a URL to access the cloud services. In the middle of the email, find the My Account Administration area and click the My Account URL to navigate to the account. And here is where you'll see details about the account and be able to navigate to a place where you can create the MCS instance. When you log on, you need to use the username and temporary password that are provided in the email. In the dashboard, you can see general information on the type of MCS services you have and details such as API calls. In this case, I'm going to look at the services that have been commissioned called Company MCS001. And just to be clear, this is the MCS service I ordered, but I have yet to actually provision that order. To view the details of the service, click on the Mobile Environment Service link. On the left, you can see tabs allowing you to navigate to some details about the service, including billing metrics, resource quotas, and domain administrator. In the overview area, you can see information on the start date, administrator, and service URL. To access the service, click on the My Services URL. Here again, 
you need to log on using the username and temporary password provided in the email. Once logged on, you're taken to a password management page where you change your password and set up three questions to be used in the event you forget your password. And you must complete this process in order to proceed. Okay, so this is us now at the main dashboard for your mobile environment. Up to this point, we've created a cloud account and seen details about the MCS service we bought. But now we're actually going to spin up an instance of that MCS service and give it a name. Click Create Instance and select Mobile Environment Service to create a mobile cloud service instance. Here, specify name of the instance and the user that you want to administer it. Now we're a one person company at this point so Jeff is also going to be the MCS service administrator. After you click the next button you're allowed an opportunity to confirm or cancel the process. Once started you're taken back to view the instances. Here you'll see the instance that you've just created development 01. You'll also see another instance in this case rather cryptically called mobile portal then a number. Now this is actually the instance name of the user interface that fronts your MCS instances. Now notice both are in the initiated state and it may take a couple of hours for this process to complete and you shouldn't try to create any other instances until this process has completed. So you've just spun up your instance of Oracle MCS service you ordered and you're itching to get into Oracle MCS. You will have to wait a short time for this process to complete. Now you can either check back on the status in the mobile environment service page or simply you can just wait until you get an email. When the process is complete, and this could take a couple of hours, you'll be sent an email telling you the instances are now active. In the email, click the link to access the mobile environment instance and log in using your username from the email and the updated password of the service administrator. Click on the mobile service environment and you can see they're both active. If you've been provisioned multiple environments, then you can create them right from here. Click the Create Service Instance button again, and you're taken to the same page to create a second instance. Now, in my case, it'll be named Test01, and notice the associations property is set to the same name as the UI instance. And this is how you allow MCS artifacts to be moved between two different instances. If this value is not set to the same as the UI instance, you will not be able to move MCS artifacts from a development instance to a testing instance or a production instance. When you click next and then create service instance, you're taken back to the screen where you can monitor the creation process. Notice that the test instance is listed as initiated. When it's complete, it will become active just like the other instances. Okay, you've created two instances of MCS, a development and a test instance. Let's go and check them out now. Scroll down and click on the Open Service Instance link. You'll see the Mobile Cloud Service main page. If you click on the burger icon on the left, you can access all the MCS applications. In the upper right, notice the button for active environments you just created. If you click it, you'll see a message that you only have access to one environment. That's only because we're awaiting the test instance to be activated. When the test environment is active, you'll be able to switch between them. So that's you provisioned a couple of instances of Oracle MCS. One final quick demo, as an identity domain administrator, one of your jobs is to create MCS team members, basically defining who does what within Oracle MCS. So let's see that in a demo. Okay, so we go to our cloud services dashboard and we create users by clicking on the users button. And here I'm gonna add a new user and I supply information on the user's name, their last name, their email address. And there's our manager's email. And I'm gonna make this user an ID Identity Domain Administrator, so they'll be able to create other users. And I just have to select for mobile services and shuttle that over, and that will give that person the Identity Domain Admin role. And let's add another user, and this time we're going to add a user for, who's called Betty. 
And in this case, we're actually going to select individual roles and assign those. So uh, mobile analytics or mobile business user or mobile database management. So there is your onboarding process for Oracle Mobile Cloud Service. Thank you very much for watching.